Today, we're gonna to be covering one of the most important steps in client retention that way too many cleaners are overlooking. But first, if you're a cleaning business owner or an entrepreneur in general, just make sure to subscribe to the channel. Now, every cleaning business must have a quality control or inspections program. It is super important in order to assess you and your team's work and maintain cleaning quality for your clients' facilities. This is how you stand out and differentiate yourself from all the other companies. Way too many times I've heard business owners tell me this, right? I'm too busy to do this, Rick. On a regular basis, I just can't get it done. The clients haven't complained yet. So that means I must be doing a good job, right? Don't think this way, please. As business owners, we need to hold our companies to the highest standards. And the same thing goes for the job we're doing for our clients. The quicker you implement a quality control system in your business, the more successful your company will become. I promise you. It elevates the overall outlook of your business and brand as well. That's why implementing these processes are so crucial for your client retention rate. When clients see how serious you take your business to the tune of performing inspections on a scheduled basis, the more they're gonna appreciate you. Believe me, these are things they notice even if they're not saying. Your clients want to know they're in good hands, especially during these COVID times. They don't wanna feel like they need to confront you or submit a request or a complaint order for you to do a proper job. Take those complaints off the table now so they don't turn into tension points between you and your client down the road. Let's get into some tips in regards to the process, ideas, and tools that you can use in order to implement these processes within your business. So here's a quick look at how we did it. And this could help those just starting out or those that are starting to grow in their business. When you win an account, depending on the size of your business, you may be the one cleaning it yourself in the beginning, which I feel isn't a bad thing in order to fully embrace the QC process and know it firsthand, right? For example, let's say you win a healthcare facility. It's five days a week, three hours a night. What we did, my wife and I and my cousin and team, was clean it for the first week, understand the production rate, learn the ins and outs of the layout, understand the scope of work, set up the supply closet, and make sure we had the best supplies and equipment to be the most efficient. It's all about your tools, which I like to call the weapons of cleaning or weapons of mass destruction. Then we would train a new employee or existing employee for three days. So we'd break down the facility in a handful of tasks and front back type sections for the cleaning attack. We'd have the trainee or supervisor or even the technician that's gonna be cleaning the account work alongside with us to also learn the account and get the full understanding of expectations. Day four, they're on their own. In this case, let's say it's a newer and existing employee that you are assigning to the account, then they're on their own for a full week. You then go back and inspect the account that following Monday morning before the client enters the facility. If all goes well, you should have a well-trained team member managing this account moving forward. If there are areas that are missed, then you walk and talk with them to help them get a better understanding of what they missed. Visit the account again the following Monday and all should be set to go. At that point, two, three weeks in, you're done. The new account now has a great team member that's been trained and is there to manage the account. Essentially, your technician is really an account manager, if you think about it. Remember, when you're inspecting, you're not looking for misses or bad things. You're looking for areas that can be improved or for new tasks and items that you can offer to the client. This is what you want your teams to feel when you're inspecting. Because if you think about it, put yourself in their shoes. It doesn't feel great to have somebody looking over your shoulder. So we message it in a positive way and we empower them with words and messages like, let's do this better. Or we always like to do it this way or that way. By using words like let's or we, then you're saying you're doing it together as a team and you're not pointing the finger at them or pointing on the negative things. As you continue to do this, these first handful of cleaning technicians don't even know it yet, but you should essentially be watching them and grooming them to be your next supervisor, your first team lead. They've learned how you train, how you start an account, how to inspect, what your expectations are. They've seen this firsthand. Now it sometimes happens quickly or it takes some time, but always be watching because the minute you find that rock star, that's the moment that you're gonna be able to take your company to the next level. Your first QC inspector can play multiple roles in the beginning because they perform so many types of tasks for you in the beginning already. They can be an account manager, QC, inspector, trainer, account cover specialist, and so on which eventually helps you because you're able to then create the next major roles within your company. 
The next video, we're gonna to touch on the software, the apps that we use to measure performance and increase productivity from our managers and the teams in the field. Then we'll follow that video with a special video just on Rockstar Cleaning and account coverage because it's that important that it deserves a special video. As always, drop those comments below and I'll see you guys next time.